Hey, Shalom Alam Israel. First off, I'd like to say, Kar Halal, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing his word, and all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sisters who watch and sincerely believe, Shalom Alam to you as well, as well as all of the new uh, viewership and uh, new believers coming into the faith, Shalom Alam. Uh, I just want to do a quick lesson because I was reading something that a brother posted in our chat about uh, Dallas County. They're basically uh, enforcing the mask or yeah, Dallas County is enforcing the mask mandate. Now, we know here in the state of Texas, uh, Governor Greg Abbott, he is basically uh, uh, not mandated uh, for it to be a requirement to wear a mask. But you got... Uh, you know, the, the school systems mainly because here it is, uh, school is starting back, you know, in, in a lot of these school districts here in Texas. So they're requiring masks in schools and just other uh, public offices. But in Dallas County, I was reading an article. It was saying that in schools, of course, any uh, government uh, buildings, uh, in certain businesses, they're going to uh, mandate masks again. So here it is, you know, all of this false information and then the whole fear campaign of Esau Edom, the left hand, basically forcing people to receive that cocktail. So, and they basically ramping up, uh, talking about the whole Delta variant and, you know, how the, the numbers are increasing, you know, especially here in Texas, because Texas has been like that rebel state, you know, just going against the, the orders of the, the, the so-called commander-in-chief, you know, the president. But with all being said, uh, here it is in the summer, and it seems like they're, they're, they're basically saying that the cases are getting higher when pretty much uh, people are more out in the sun in the summer, the days are longer, so people have more exposure to vitamin D. So, you know, I was reading... Uh, or not reading, I was watching a video by a so-called health expert, a, a doctor or whatever, and he was just saying it's just preposterous that they spend this whole fear campaign with uh, misinformation, you know. You would think, for, if anything, that the, the cases would rise a lot more uh, during the fall than the winter months. But all being said, you know, the left hand is showing his power. Satan's going to come with great wrath because he has a short time. So basically... Uh, they're going to go uh, progressively harder and harder to establish draconian um, or with draconian measures to ultimately fulfill their new world order agenda. So, Lord willing, I'm just going to get a few precepts that I was just meditating on. Uh, Lord willing, through the spirit that's an edify. I'm going to start off here in Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 10, verse 5. It says, there is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which proceeded from the ruler. So there's an error that King Solomon is talking about in this uh, chapter that he's seen under the sun as an error which proceeded from the ruler. So the rulership that's in power, they're not ruling according to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father via the Bible, via the laws. So this rulership is a rulership of error. This whole Western world society is basically ruining nations, man. And right now, they have everybody scared out of their mind, man, to really uh, think for themselves and really evaluate information and make a, a, a logical uh, conclusion as to which way to go. Because, you know, the tenets that the so-called founding fathers of this place established with the Constitution is you're supposed to have uh, the right of life, liberty in the pursuit of happiness. But. You, people are being seen that that was all just a, a, a false illusion, man. It really was a dream. The American dream is for those who are asleep and it's time to wake up. Because the rulers of this place, man, they're showing that they can just at any time move the goalposts. They don't keep any of their own laws, man. So really, through the spirit, a whole uh, new righteous uh, rulership and government is going to have to be established, man. Because there's nothing but false judgment, unrighteous laws that gets prevailed in this place, man. And on top of all of that, wickedness, man. 
Matter of fact, I'll read the next verse. Ecclesiastes 10 and 6, it says, Folly or foolishness, folly is set in great dignity. So every, uh, all manner of foolishness, you know, all of these different uh, so-called uh, alternative lifestyles, just basically people having the uh, a power to destroy themselves. But anybody that's talking about righteousness, about uh, the preservation of, of life, those uh, people get demonized, man. Those that question the so-called powers to be that rule and error, those are the ones who get ostracized from this society. They don't go along to get along. Shout out to Kwame Brown because I know he uses that term a lot. Go along, get along. But hey, that's really biblical principles because the scripture says, follow not a multitude to do evil. So this place uh, exalts all manner of foolishness and folly. And it says, and the rich sit in low places. So the rich are the rich in faith, meaning the men that the Most High set up to receive this word. The prophets who are out there on the highways and the byways and putting up these videos prophesying, man. Calling out all the wickedness and the madness that's going on in this place. Sign and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. We sit in a low place right now, you know. But the point being made, man, the Lord, if, if we don't have any hope as a nation if the Lord, if the Most High doesn't send his son, Yahweh Shah, to come redeem us out of this hellhole, man. Because it's getting progressively worse and worse and worse and worse. They ain't even, the powers to be, they're not even trying to hide their agenda anymore, man. Because they know that these people, they felt they're going to fall hook, line, and sinker for whatever that they put out. And receive it as fact. This is Psalms 94 and 20. It says, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? One of my favorite scriptures, Psalms 94 and 20, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Because this throne, throne represents rulership. This rulership that Esau has established is a rulership of sin and iniquity. And in, in, in iniquity and sin, it can't have fellowship with righteousness. It tells you in Amos 3 and 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? So this, this rulership, this throne of iniquity is not going to have fellowship. It's not going to mix with righteousness, man. It says, here's the point, which frameth mischief by a law. So Esau, Edom, the powers to be, that control on the left-hand side that was set up by the Most High to rule on the left-hand side, they frame mischief by laws, man. That's why the Senate, you know, the Congress, they're always uh, uh, writing bills which they used to have that commercial back in the day when, you know, commercials were educational, how bill becomes a law. So Esau, Edom, they're set on framing mischief by their wicked laws, man. Their unrighteous laws that are a detriment to everyone that's involved, man. And the main reason why is because their laws are contrary to the laws of the Heavenly Father. Isaiah 10 and 1. Oldie but a goodie. Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, woe. And woe is an old uh, Quaker English word for destruction. And we know that according to prophecy, Babylon the Great, which we know prophetically through the scriptures is America, is set to be destroyed. And mainly because of the, the, the wicked that's in power. That's all a part of that process of the Most High taking the wicked out of the power so a righteous government can be established. Two kings can't sit on the throne. The throne of iniquity can't have fellowship with righteousness. I just read. So this uh, rulership, this empire has to be destroyed. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees or laws or policy. It says woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. So the laws of this place are grievous laws, man. Whether you want to talk about their tax code, putting usury on people. And now, you know, in the midst of the at the end of the summer, going into the, you know, the fall and the winter, they're bringing the whole mask mandate back. And that right grievousness, which they prescribe and that word prescribe it's a compound word. It means to write before. Pre means before, scribe means to write. So all of the laws 
that are written in this place, they're grievous to people, man. And it's beautiful all through the spirit that this word is going out because uh, the elect of our people and the one third, they're waking up, man. And that's why Esau Edom, he's constantly uh, putting strikes and, rem and removing brothers' videos, man, because he can't control, he can't contain this truth, man. He can't contain contain this truth. The more he tries to do to, to to try to muzzle or put it out, the bigger the flame gets, man. It's a wildfire of truth, man. And that shows that we're close to the end too, like the prophecy in Matthew twenty four, when it talks about when the gospel shall be preached uh, throughout the the throughout the the earth, then shall the end come. And rightfully so, because. Righteous judgment never goes forth in this place because all of the wicked laws that Esau, Edom, the wicked that's in power, uh, promotes. Uh, I'll go to Habakkuk chapter 1 and I'll read a few verses here. I'm going to start at the top in verse 1. It says, the burden, which the burden which Habakkuk, the prophet, did see. So we feel the same way, you know, in the spirit as, you know, Habakkuk felt. And one of the brothers that's out there, you know, in the right spirit preaching the word, we don't know who we are, but one of the brothers might be Habakkuk coming back. But Habakkuk, you know, he saw a burden in his spirit, man. Verse 2, O Lord, how long shall I cry and thou will not hear? Even cry out unto thee of violence and thou will not save. So that's the way brothers feel in the spirit. We're steadily crying out to the Heavenly Father through his Son to deliver us out of this predicament, man. Because these laws are getting more grievous and more grievous, man. More of your civil liberties and your privileges are being taken away more and more. And as we go into the fall winter zone, man, oh, man, I think through the spirit, I, I feel things is finna uh, uh, ramp up fast. Things is finna switch gears real fast, man. It says, verse 3, why doest thou show me iniquity? And cause me to behold grievance, for spoiling and violence are before me, and there are and there are that raise up strife and contention. So that's all that's around us: spoiling and violence, strife and contention. Even amongst two thirds of the nation of Israel, man, those that know that they're Israelites, they're preaching false doctrines, they're teaching for strife and for vain glory and for contention, just to be warned like this is some type of gang banging set. When really the, the men that are locked into the right spirit, we're doing everything possible to put ourselves in position to get delivered up out of this hellhole, man. Because that should be the ultimate mindset. Escaping all of this judgment, all of this false, all of this false uh, judgment, all of these unrighteous decrees that go forth in this place. That we don't have the ability to do anything about. Verse four. It says, therefore, the law is slack. And it's talking about the law, statutes and commandments of the Heavenly Father. This place goes completely contrary to the ways of the Heavenly Father. It tells you that in Psalms, the 15th chapter or Psalms 15 and 16, rather. You know, the wicked, they basically cast the words to the most high behind them. The president swears in on the Bible. When you go to court, you got to put your right hand on the Bible and swear and take an oath. But. They don't judge according to the Bible. It says, therefore, the law is slack and judgment doeth never go forth. So the laws of the heavenly father, they're slacked in this place and righteous judgment. It never goes forth for the wicked doeth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. So it always seems that wickedness prevails against righteousness right now. But brothers, that's in the spirit. You know, this is excitation. Just because that seems to be the case right now, that's not always going to be the case. The Lord is just stacking the cases against those that commit wickedness, man. So once he bangs the, the, the gavel of judgment, because the most high, he's the ultimate judge. Then he's just going to, you know, set everything in order, so to speak. So. Wrong judgment always proceeds in this place and is mainly because of the rulership that's in power that promote that create unrighteous laws, man. And now with the whole mass mandate thing and then really this is all 
in an attempt just to force people to receive the cocktail. Ultimately, man. We're headed out of the we're, we're at the end of the summer coming into the winter, man. Things is about to speed up. Gears is about to switch, man. The devil is really about to poke those horns out, man. So that's why brothers been constantly in the spirit to put up videos about being circumspect and paying attention and just really uh, watching your conduct and your behavior and watching your moves and watching what you say, what watching the things you uh, ingest into your spirit and your psyche. It's going to be a cold winter, I perceive, through the spirit, man. And of course, you know, Texas, we had one of the harshest winters ever last year, you know, that pretty much caused all types of devastation for a lot of people, including me, myself. I was displaced, no power, no water, you know, for over a week or so. So, man, this winter is going to be rough, I perceive, through the spirit. But for the brothers that's in the know, that have this wisdom and knowledge and understanding, we're going to be all right, man. If we endure to the end, ultimately, we're going to be hella good. But right now, it's time to just uh, just prepare your, your mindset, man, for what's to come down the pipe. Because everybody's been in the spirit to say, even those that are not you know, necessarily within this truth, that the shutdowns are coming, man, as we go into the fall winter season, man. So for brothers that have the ability, maybe... To, to buy a little bit extra, not saying that those extra things as far as food items and water is going to save you, but that's just part of being prudent. You might want to go ahead and start back doing that, you know, save a little bit more, you know, money or whatever the case may be. Just being prepared because it's going to be a cold winter. I perceive through the spirit the way that things is rolling down the line, you know, I'll read this and end out the lesson. It says, this is Matthew, the 24th chapter in the 20th verse. It says, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. So this all goes back to 70 AD, but the scriptures are multifold, you know, because back in 70 AD, the, the Romans, you know, besieged Jerusalem. And a lot of our people, they had to flee out of Jerusalem during the winter, man. So even in the times that we in right now. You know, you better pray that your flight be not in the winter, that the Lord don't have you in a crazy predicament, you know, during the when the, when it's cold, when the when the days are shorter to when it's more darkness than it is light. So all through the spirit, you know, I just perceive that Esau, Edom, they're really going to uh, step up the pace to, to force their new world order agenda and the mass mandate, you know, for. Dallas County and then just any other uh, place within the uh, the U.S., man. This is only but the beginning. This is only the tip of the iceberg. So, brothers, just make sure that you're examining your spirit because it's going to require mercy to deliver us out of this situation that we in, man. So, at the end of the day, a lot of these people, most of these people, they're going to be in a state of confusion and perplexity, just believing whatever uh, the CDC and all these government officials tell them. But for brothers that's in the spirit, just pray that the Lord keeps that spirit on you to endure to the end. So with all being said, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect.